Okay. I am playing one player. I just realized I don't have my glasses on. One player, uh. Oh, there they are. Bad news baseball. See if I can actually beat this today. Oh, look at that. Doug Walker. Ugh. Doug Rudy Walker. I should ask him if his middle name's Rudy. Oh, should really take a picture of that. I will later. Okay. Toronto versus San Francisco. The classic matchup. Alright. And they're already pitching pretty good. But they... Oh, see... They have their glove out, so it's like, they always know where to go. Now, one of the things, the reason why I want to play this one player game, even though I should be kicking their ass right now, I really fucking suck, is because I hear there's another cinema scene that I saw as a kid, because, you know, this game has cinema scenes or cutscenes. Oh, wow, by luck I get a hit. Wow. By sheer fucking luck. And, of course, my next guy fucks it up. But yeah, there's supposed to be like a cutscene, so like I'm hoping that the computer would like try to whoop my ass. Just like a six. I heard if you like a grand slam, there's this one that I saw as a kid where like, cause you know they had that one where they just bounce it up and down and shit. Oh shit. I can't believe I fucked that up. This is a fucking computer too. This is really fucking pathetic. Alright. Ryan would have went to third base, and then I would get him out. Okay. I'm so used to being San Francisco, though. So used to being the team that's... I know that my TV is in black and white. It's really my Retron. It sucks ass. I mean, you can get it in color, but you have to, like, tap the wire in the back up, but it likes to go down. And up in the, on that wire is color, down is black and white, but thanks to gravity, it likes to be down. They could have got a double play. Oh well. One thing I like about Toronto is, is that their players are really fast. Damn, I'm really struggling. It's weird. I, I'm usually kicking ass on the first team, and I don't know why I'm like struggling here. This is really weird. I must really suck at this game now. And I have to go through every fucking team, but if I'm struggling with this team, I don't see myself getting very far. But, unfortunately, this game has passwords. Actually, I've never really played with Toronto on here. Uh, I don't remember what team I beat this with. I, it is actually pretty hard on one player, though. Oh, shit. That was by sheer luck, because I fucking suck. Oh! I'm really sucking ass. I normally don't struggle like this on the first team. This is really weird. But one thing, though, they always keep, like, the same picture on there. They're such a moron. See? They got a little confused there. Fuck. Uh, can't remember what team I beat this with, though. starting to bother me. I actually did beat this game before, but it was, I didn't play it was Toronto. Like I said, the, big, the reason why I like Toronto is because their players are really fucking fast. And everyone in San Francisco, they're all like really fucking slow. Like that one. He fucking slow as shit. There's nobody in San Francisco. That little black team right there. I know that sounds racist, but the, the team that has black on them. Sorry, there's no other way that I can put it. I know I'm not sounding, you know, what's that term? 
um, PC, I guess. Uh, yeah, I saw like on the news and everything that uh, shit, we're gonna be here for a while, so I might as well just talk about some shit, you know? <laughs> this is gonna be a really long fucking video, because if I'm struggling with a team like this, that's pretty fucking bad. Anyway, back to what I was saying, if anyone is interested, all two of you people that are watching, um, I'm sure I'll be lucky to get that, but, uh, yeah, on the news, they showed, like, a bunch of, like, angry mob people. I didn't really see who they were, but I'm pretty sure it was Black Lives Matter, um, going in and destroying all those statues of those Confederate people. Like, they're all, like, pissed off about Robert Lee and shit, and... Am I actually gonna make a hit? Yes, I did. Fuck. It took me a long time, but fuck. I think we had to, like, wear out the picture or something. But anyway, so, like, the, um... They're tearing down all the statues and stuff, and... You know, they're all pissed off because they were racist and everything, and... You know, they're... If you're racist, then you shouldn't have... Oh, I couldn't make this. Oh well. Hope these guys will start. Oh, wait, wait, time out. He has 18 home runs. I know it says 270, the other guy's got 280. But I really don't think these numbers for average mean anything. I really don't think the developers of this game really even knows what those averages mean. Because I've seen people with like fucking 500, and they should be really fucking good. And they suck ass. I'm gonna take a chance with Wade. I like me some Wade. Wade never. Wade just fucking let me down. <laughs> I had too much faith in Wade, and now I have a triple play. <sighs> that looked like a good one, but I forgot. The theater always knows where to fucking stand. If it's in the air, the computer knows where it's at. We don't. Even Brian, the master that he is, sometimes don't know where to stand, especially when it's going that freaking fast. And a lot of times your guys just aren't fast enough to get there. But the computer could get there no problem. I'm going to change my picture. I don't really like to with the computer, but I'm not taking my chances. Yes, got him. Uh-oh, Damien. They changed pictures. Damn. I can't believe I'm freaking struggling like this. Well, anyway, back to my story. Uh, sorry I'm going off track here, but sometimes this game just freaking amazes me. Like, right now, look, this guy should hit a home run. Let's see if he actually fucking hits a home run. Watch this, Peter knows where to stand. See, he even has his glove out. You never have your glove out in this game. There is no button that I'm aware of that'll make you go, because there's some baseball games that are like that. Like, you can actually, like, tap a button. You know, I don't well, remember what games they are. I think it's just, like, one baseball game that I played that did that. And I think that was that fucking, um, what was that, 2049, what the hell, that super baseball game? It like takes place in the future, so that's like a K game. I don't really play that one that much, but Manafi seems to like that one, and... <sighs> oh no, you know what? On the next game, my guys are going to be fucking tired. <sighs> Great. I don't know why I did that. Oh well, didn't matter. Oh, anyway, so back to my story. I'm was trying to pay attention because uh, it's eighth inning at zero to zero, and I shouldn't be struggling with this team. But now they're like going and uh, they're complaining about that movie Gone with the Wind. You ever seen that movie Gone with the Wind? Uh, 
Yeah, it's a, a movie about guys who can't fucking hit a baseball. That's what the movie's fucking about. No, it's this movie... I only seen it, like, one time. And I think I was in high school when I saw it. I, I might have been middle school, actually, uh, when I seen it. Because, like, it's one of those movies, like, the school, like, puts in for you when you had to watch it. Because it's, like, a history movie. And we had to learn about the times back then and everything. And, um... It's like a three-hour movie, too, so we had to, like, watch it, like, <laughs> I think it was, like, the week or something like that. It was, like, a, I think it was, like, a three-hour movie, like, Gone with the Wind. I know it was pretty long. I don't know how long you can make a movie. See, I haven't seen this movie in a long time, so I'm just thinking to myself, how long can you make a movie about, you know, the old times, you know, back then where everyone dresses up, like, you want to go to your friend's house, you gotta be dressed in, like, a freaking nice suit and everything, and... You know, you gotta get your hair all combed and everything, and make sure that your sideburns are looking good, you know. And then you go to your friend's house. We're at the bottom of the ninth. But anyway, and all the women are like in dresses, and they look like Scarlet's and everything. Scarlet O'Hara, that's her name. And, uh, and then you got like Clark Gable's character, Rhett Butler. I'm going to John now. Let's see if I can win it with John. Good. Oh shit. Didn't matter. Everyone in San Francisco is slow as fuck. I don't know why my guys are struggling. So anyway, you got Red Butler and you got fucking Scarlett O'Hara and it's a movie about those two like falling in love at a slavery plantation. You know, that's where she's at. And that's where the problem comes in. But they made up for it by having, you know, the first black woman to win an award. Here we go. I got my home run. Took them long enough, but whatever. I'm really not happy with this team, but, you know, whatever. Got a home run. I think I won. No, I didn't. We're at the top. That's gotta be sure they don't fuck up. Maybe I'll get some insurance. So a three-hour movie about two people falling in love at a slave plantation. So how the hell could you make that into three hours? You know, I'm kind of a writer myself, but you definitely gotta put a lot of problems. Oh, that's one down. 